Okay, it is six o'clock, July 20th. Uh, this is the meeting of the uh, Timberland Golf Commission and present are Peter DeFazio, uh, Sal Guerrero, Nancy Berger, Seb Senya, uh, Gail Amu, and Mark just connected audio. Uh, Jimmy Green notified me that he will be out uh, tonight. Uh, I am via Zoom, Jim Norton is via Zoom. Joe Pacini. So, it's Joe Pacini, oh, Mr. Pink. Oh my gosh, Joe. Joe, is that <laughs> you look great though congratulations for thank you for, for joining us tonight i appreciate this all right uh with that said um let's do the the, the we're gonna start doing a, there's a flag there in that room yes so let's please stand and do the pledge of allegiance i pledge of allegiance to the flag of the united states of america to the republic for which it stands one nation under god indivisible with liberty and justice for all thank you uh, Jim, uh, Mark is on Zoom with us. Yes, I see that also. All right. Um, audience of citizens. Is there anybody else there? No. No. Okay. So there's nothing for the audience of citizens. Um, approval of the minutes from June 15th. Has everybody seen them and read them? Yes. Yes. Are there any changes or edits or edifications to those minutes from anybody? Nope. I make a motion no. we accept the minutes. Sebi Sanya makes a motion to uh, accept the minutes. Do I have a second? Second. I don't know who said that. Okay, Nancy, thank you very much. Perfect. Uh, approved and going forward. Uh, old business. Um, is there anything for old business? Hello? Uh, the last time, our last meeting, we spoke about the golf cart uh, GPS system. Yep. The the, our map has been made. Um, I, my login information was given. I was going to test it out this weekend with a couple groups. And if we want to, we could turn it on next week. Okay. So that that was uh, the last minute. It was two to three weeks out. So, all right. So you, they are in and working. Have you, the, the geofence has been identified? Right. Through it's, the whole course? Throughout the whole course. Okay. Um, would it be smart to put out a blurb email to people letting them know what's going on that you were going to have a couple of cars like this and here's what we're going to do. Even if, I, I mean, we, it's all and I spoke about this, even, even like a, a, a four sentence blast to people, just communication on what's going on. So they know, and it's not going to hit them blind. It's not going to blindside them. Any thoughts on that? Well, I think the starter, the starter can also, um, alert groups as he's handing out keys of the new policy as well. I mean, he's, cause he's touching every key as well. Well, that, that's saying that the start is there all the time. You know I mean? Sometimes it, it gets kind of hectic, but if you have that, at least you know, it's going to hit them and they could do them both. Oh, if it's wrong, yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. That's what Peter said. Yeah. Both. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't, I, I oh. didn't hear that one. Okay. Excellent. I mean, I'm so I'll, can you kind of draft something real quick, even, even a three or four sentence thing. That's all, man. That's, you know, let people know what's going on. Good. Perfect. Anything else under old business? No? Okay, let's move forward. New business. South Kensington, South Kensington Movie Night. Has everybody read this um, from yes. Saul? Yes. 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 Any, any comments or thoughts? Good idea. The only question I have, uh, Jim, is you guys want concession, right? So here's the deal. I've at first, I had some false information from some of the higher ups in the town. Um, this this has been an idea that we had. We talked to Saul earlier a couple months ago. Uh, we went through a Roche. A Roche then suggested to come back to here, and then after here, go to the town council. So actually, last week it kind of exploded a little bit more. Whoa! We can't just go to the town council. Well, why not? You need the police department. You need the health department. You need this department, that department, parks and rec, and everything else. And I'm like, oh, can I? That would be very nice. I'm getting, at that point, I was getting a little frustrated. I was hot. I was tired. I go, why? They go, it's because of the concessions. So we wanted to do some, you know, movie stuff: popcorn, candy, soda, water. Well, I, unbeknownst to me, there is a policy in place in the town of Berlin where on any town property, if you want to sell concessions, 
you need approvals from all those agencies, and then go to Parks and Rec, and then go to town council. I'm like, well, we want to do this in October. This is not going to work. So what I did is I went back to Ramsey. Ramsey's already per permitted to run concessions on the course. So Ramsey's willing to handle all of it. So the South the Fire Department will no longer officially be selling any concessions whatsoever. Where okay. So you could get a piece of the action concession at all? Ramsey <laughs> intends on donating any concessions back to the cost. So basically, we're using a permitted both the health department and already in the town of Berlin to basically sub our concessions out to, and he's going to donate back after the fact, which That's good. That's very good. makes it a lot cleaner yep. as far as approvals. So after that, I spoke with Christy actually a couple times last week because of, the, because of it. They, she said, well, LaRoche says, since you're not selling concessions, you don't need this, 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 and this. Uh, let's go talk to you guys. Uh, where, where did you want to set up the screen? The old tennis court. Where's, where's the screen to be set up? The old tennis court? No, I, okay. So I, I kind of read through this too. And and so I just got to, I'm just going to, throw out a couple thoughts here first of all you know it's a public park so i don't know that you can limit people from bringing their own food or drink in there right i mean i, I don't think we have the you don't have the authority to do that and neither do we since it's a public park you can't tell me i can't bring water in and i can't bring snacks so that's that's just so that just that's just here and there but then there's prep there's cleanup the insurance that you're talking about is it trip and fall i mean is that you know is that what you're looking at it is so I contacted Steve Wozniak, which handles the insurance and the liability for the town of Berlin. Yeah. He recommends uh, what used to be a tulip policy, which has actually now been bought out by a company called GatherGuard. So um, this is the same insurance that anybody who rents Pistol Creek, its clubhouse or grounds gets. Um, Berlin Fire Department, when they rent Sage Park for their car show, Jeep Same show. thing. Got it. Okay. So um, he says that more than more than satisfies the insurance issues on the town of Rome property. My 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 real concern is the damage possible damage to the putting green. We're gonna we're gonna we're, our plan is to rope it off. Okay. That that uh, but that in itself it's dark out. Understand it's dark out, right? And then the kids are gonna you know uh, listen we're we're talking kids, right? They're, they're gonna run around. Is somebody going to monitor that, and you're going to have supervision there to make sure nothing goes wrong on, you know, there, and, and even the upward putting green? Yeah, we're, our plan right now is have uh, 10 or 15 strong as far as manpower, um, just keeping an eye on everything. That um, before and after the movie itself is ran, um, we're utilizing the light towers on the fire truck as well as depending on whether PD's light tower is available. That, and I, I know a construction company who has their own white tower that's often used for town projects. Um, so their light tower would be there. So there would be plenty of light as far as trips and falls for all that. Um, both full, like we can light up the whole ballpark if we really want to do it. Um, all right. And um, the next step is what we're going to do is once, if and once this is approved, we are going to. The more computer savvy people in the department is actually going to figure out, especially with the moms of Berlin pages on Facebook and all that other stuff, is actually get a tentative headcount. And if we reach a certain limit, and that's going to be my next conversation after the fact, if PD is needed, we're actually going to have an officer on private duty assigned to it. Um, obviously, we're both. We'll, work on a few waivers later, but we have September, we have three town council meetings, September and October before this, should we deem that necessary to get that through. I have one recommendation because Timberland is a park. You should speak to Donna Bouvet to see if you just need park and rec to be aware. Yeah, I talked with uh, General Joe. Who? Jen? Jen, she's park and rec. Well, she's park and rec? Yes. She had, uh, I, I think they would want to know park and rec. Uh, she? 
According to Jen, the only part of the golf course that falls under her purview is the pavilion, pavilion in the yeah. back, right. or if we were selling the concessions, then right. the whole park would now fall under her purview as far as concession sales only. Yeah. I, my suggestion is just because it's a courtesy. It's not necessarily seeking approval. That's part of the Yeah, John's yes, away. Yes. Okay. Yes, yeah. yes. I, it's a courtesy. Yeah, yeah I talk to her part all the time for work. Andy, did they say anything about, like, if your event is under the same umbrella as, like, a golf outing? Who is that? The people you spoke to in town. Um, no, it's not necessarily the same golf outing because we're not intending on using the playing surface. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I mean, we've talked with Arosha's office. We've talked with Jen's office. Talk with you. Um, it, we're just we're utilizing a small corner, so what we ended up setting out to do is this is well the the department as a whole supports it. This is more of a South Kensington thing. This is really the only town area in South Kensington. We didn't want to go to Sage Park because now you really have to get Burlington Fire Department involved, and they already have the car show, they have the Jeep show, they have couple things. All proceeds are for the South Kensington. Yeah, we are we are really looking to bolster the South Kensington scholarship funds and um, with a heavy emphasis on public safety and blue collar professions. Uh, just because it really came to light because I sat and gave our scholarships away at the high school scholarship thing and there's a lot of fine scholarships out there, and a lot of them are very heavy towards certain white collar jobs. And we're like, I'm missing the boat on blue collar. How jobs. about the trades? But that, that's exactly what we're headed for: trades and trades and public safety. Okay. Is what this is raising money for, and that's you know hopefully. Can I make a motion? Go ahead. I, I've heard enough. I'd like to make a motion to. Uh, approve the movie night uh, under the under the conditions that all all town requirements are met i second second so motion is uh, by peter seconded by sevy all in favor aye, aye. all opposed unanimous okay mark, very are good on, are you on the mic mark i'm sorry oh uh, i could i could unmute Mark, can you hear me? Yes. Is that Manzi's night call? Hello? Huh. Can that, you hear me? Yeah, yeah we got you. Are, we hear you. Is that Manzi golf night, October 14th? Uh, no, but there's another night golf tournament that day. Somebody else from the town is, is hosting. Oh. Well, that's a, <laughs> that's a problem then. Uh, John Major with the town. He's hosting his event that day, October 14th. It's night golf? Yeah. So is that nine holes or 18? Uh, he wanted to use all 18. Use all 18. Is he going to have enough for 18 holes? He says he is, yes. So that's a, pro that's a problem. The date's a problem then. And that's right? the 14th, right, Mark? I mean, I... Oh, that's up to you guys. I, I, that's not going to conflict with the golf course. So, yeah, sure. Well, because it's over to to the on the courts right there, Mark. I mean, I also yeah, but we can move the first tee. We can move the first tee up by the red tees. That won't. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying not to do a Sunday. Yeah, well, you know what? He he's familiar with the gentleman with the tournament, so they they, they can talk amongst themselves and work out a date. Themselves, is that but neither neither of us have, I, as far as I know, publicly announced the date. I see. So, so it's like the date. So, flex. just work it out with Misha. Yeah. Right, well, obviously, Mark's going to need lead time to prepare to order the stuff for night golf. So, but I mean, like for number hole number one, do you, do you use the tees or do you put them in the front tees, like 200 yards out? Usually on the red. I usually put them at the reds, anyways. Oh, so that's okay. No, you're fine. I play 
there's no cards. No, 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 no cards. There's no cards. The, 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 that area will be fully light and lit, lit until the, you know while the movie, before the movie and after the movie. Hey, you can even give them the lights on the first hole. They'll love you for that one. Right. On the tee box, right? So it sounds like if it does have happen, parking for everybody. I have no, honestly, we have no idea what to expect for that town. Uh, it could be five people. It could be a hundred people. This I is just, this is all preliminary, right, Andrew? And there's no, is there a fee to get in there? Andrew, are you charging oh, a fee? So, so we are, for a couple of reasons. One, we've noticed, especially with some complaints and stuff <laughs> on Facebook, with no town sanctioned movie night or music night or everything else, that we figured that this was an opportunity and we actually initially picked September 30th. However, we understand Berlin Congregational is doing a similar event behind their church on the same night. So that's why we went to grab October 14th. We don't want to do anything in, some, in the middle of September around the fair because you lose half the town. True. Um, so they haven't had great success, but when you, what, we have to license the movie. We actually have to pay a licensing company for the permission to use the movie. Um, and actually it's like 450 bucks. So, uh, which we've already been sponsored by a couple in town businesses are gonna pay for it. <clears throat> Theirs does not allow them to advertise the movie. So that could be what's holding them up too. Um, they have a religious uh, year round license. I, I talked with, uh, with Jill Hansen from Hansen Farm, she runs it. Um, so we have, we have no, honestly, we have no idea to expect. That's why um, one of our social members is going to do an online sign up and just say, "Hey, how many parents are interested in it?" Um, I know. I like. To, I'm going to probably, hopefully, John's still in. I don't know if he's doing inspections late on Thursday. Uh, I'll go talk to John after this. Um, We'll see if two of us think we can make it work. If we can't, see if one of us punches. So how, how are you going to make money off of this thing? I mean, th at the end of the day. Oh, I'm sorry. So, yes. Um, you're going to pass the boot? But the license, if you charge, you're supposed to kick back 30% of all charging to the licensing company. So we are, yes, we're going to ask for donations and a sale of concessions. So it's free, and but you're gonna you're gonna ask for donations. That's how you're gonna go, go about this yeah, thing, right? We're gonna put a boot on the table. Say, hey, this is put on. This is this is a benefit for the South Kensington Scholarship Fund. Um, donate as you wish. Got it. I believe right now the planned movie is Hocus Pocus because it's close to Halloween. Yeah. Hmm. And uh, it wasn't necessarily my suggestion. I'm not a huge fan of it. But a couple of my wife's friends said, if you play Hocus Pocus, I'll be there. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Does your wife have a broom? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I forgot this recorded. I'm sorry. I should have said that <laughs> one. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry. She doesn't want them. She called the <laughs> You got a band in there, too. I know one. Music and movie. Well, I mean, if this... If this if honestly, if this yeah, thing works so out, if everybody's yeah. happy, my intention is to try to do a three spaced out through the year next year. If this works, if it turns into a giant headache, and I mean, we're doing all the legwork now, so if it if it works, it'll be easy to replicate in the future. Um, it's just a just a matter of anybody shows if nobody shows up, I'm never going to do what's, what's the max? Like, have you thought of the max? We're not inside, so Steve doesn't get involved with maximums. Um, you know, if it starts, like I said, I believe um, talking with Jim Simons because of the car, him running the car show, I believe if we start approaching somewhere in the 100 mark, then they're really going to want an officer there mm -hmm. just to, I don't know, make sure the mom and the kids and, but I don't know if I wrote in there. I know um, this was before we even knew about night golf. I know Renzi was planning on serving food up until movie night started mm -hmm. and then keeping the bar open for beverages to 
That's what, he, that's what he does for night golf too. Right. Food is before they tee off, and then after, you know. I've got a few. Yeah. So, you know. I have a blast out. All right. Well, just keep us posted all the way through this thing, and then and that's fine. Right? right. Yeah. No, I, uh, that's fine. I appreciate the approval, and uh, I'll talk to Johnny tonight or tomorrow. You're welcome. Good luck. They're good. All right. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. All right. Well, but you want to ban me? Maybe the next time. Maybe the next time. I know there's another gentleman who's trying to do some stuff at Veterans Park too. Um, I don't know. I saw it on the town councilman. Yeah. There you go. All right, Andy. Thank you. All right. Thanks, guys. I'll be in touch. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. Good night. All right. Course conditions. Everybody there? Yeah. yeah. I, I thought uh, um, Jerry's uh, report was very informative. I thought that was very good. I might want to. I don't know if people think we should share that on a bigger level, but uh, I mean, I think for the way the weather's been, I think the course is in um, pretty good shape. I have one suggestion, um, and maybe. Uh, it has to do with people creating cart paths where there are none, um, especially on um, the third hole on the left between the bunker and the tree that people have are using that as a cart path. At one time, I, I know we did some ropes, you know, and I understand that that's somewhat additional work for the grounds crew because they have to move the ropes and all move them back. But it's probably no more additional work than moving the plastic cones that are out there, uh, which I'm in favor of. Uh, I just think that when you think about it, and maybe the, the uh, starters could also encourage people taking carts. If there's a cart path, please stay on it and follow it. People go think the GPS well, will well, the GPS will help. GPS today, yeah. today. But I, I, hopefully, I don't know how you mapped it, hopefully left of the... Um, Number three green is off limits for the carts. It should be, in my opinion. Yeah. Today there was a cart. You ready for this? On seventh hole, seventh hole, part three, between the bunker and the green on the right. Wow. Um, on the right hand side? Their left tires had to have been on the fringe at least. It, 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 you know. mm -hmm. So, regular? What? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm not saying what. But, uh, one of our guys, one of the guys we moved in front of us, we had three moves today, yelled over there, and the guy said, I'm handicapped. It doesn't matter. No, it doesn't. So, uh, the the, the, we uh, saw, so speaking of that, do, the, do, do certain carts have less restrictions than others? You can designate any cart as a oh, handicap restriction or a normal restriction. Now, who, who's going to do that? The starters or you? Well, we're going to you know, set up like maybe six to ten carts that are in the daily yeah. usage. Gotcha. That uh, that would be for handicap only. And how are we going to? How are we handling handicap? We talked about it in our last. We do. Year, yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. That policy was already worked out previously, Peter, on that, on the handicap, and how we're going to deal with that going forward. Right, we dealt with that last because, year. Because we have the geofencing, we're actually going to enforce it. Yep. Like for someone to use a handicap card, they're going to show me a handicap pass. Is that Perfect. It, right? Yes. I, th I think, if I recall correctly, that's what we spoke yes. about. Yeah. I mean, they they can just prove they have one. Yeah. We just put on files. Right. 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 And there's when you think about it, there's actually very few spots near the green. Where there isn't a car path. I, I think every green has one. Exactly. So I don't understand why you can't park carts yeah. on car paths and stay on car paths because that's what they're there. And, and is the up near the flagpole and all that stuff that you geofenced? I think that's where me, Jerry, and Mark will like uh, have a second conversation. Great, because there's an individual that pulls it up to that thing every day. <laughs> every um, day. I, I know, obviously, uh, 
Jerry and Mark, they know more spaces or areas right. of golf course than I do, so happily welcome there. Well, that's good. So we're 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 we're, 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 at the, we're at the home stretch. So I took a card out last night, uh, first time this year, and uh, I was playing the back. And at 16, I couldn't even get up on the green. Well, to the right, down by the pines, all right, down by the, the uh, bunk up there. And I drove the card up there, all right. And rather than going all the way around, I took that path going up by 16. Boy, that's a dangerous uh, drive up there. So it's all roots. Mm -hmm. Should all right. be easy. Yeah, that, that's that's why the only course, course. We're the only course that allows that allows cards on on par three. Right, and we're the only one. And, that, and that's why. That's why the uh, reason I'm asking is, is they're going to be under restriction so that cards can't go up there anymore. Or, you know? I mean, there's going to be a lot of trial and error, yeah. right? Like, yeah, yeah. We, we can set up. All par threes where it's all car pads only. Yeah, but it's not conducive to that song. Sixteen is not conducive to a car path only. I mean, I, I know you say what you're saying, but it, it's the setup. Usually, yes. we do that is ahead of time, not afterwards, right? I mean, so the car path goes to the left over there, and someone duffs one, and they're didn't they don't even make the, the traps. What are you gonna say? You have to walk through the pine trees. So, uh, I mean, you really need to think th that one through. Any I understand exactly where you're going. Any other course you yeah, but it, 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 yeah, but, but every yeah. other course, it's open. It's That one is kind of blocked. Like, whatever we do, we just have to be all on the same page. Like, right. right. That's true. To, I don't want to do something and then, like, half of the room doesn't like it, you know, so. Well, if whatever we supply we do, is, we have you know, people have page. to play smart. Right. You take your clubs, you drive up. I'm over there. I'm getting out and I have to walk over there. Right. I mean, 16 is a perfect example, right? That's You're asking perfect. all the cards to stay on the left yes. car pad. Yeah. You hit one to the right, mm -hmm. you still have 60 yards. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's yeah. going to take some walking and time, right? So I think there's a lot of well, retraining. Yeah, well, maybe we can do it so that they can drive like 20 yards, 20 yards in yeah. front of the green. Yeah. <laughs> but they can't go around to the right. Yeah. That is it. That, uh, that was, you can use the same green parameters on a par three, four, and five, right? Like where it's, let's just say for normal players, you can't be 25 yards in from the front of the green. Right. Right. So like on 16, that would seem okay if they can't get within 25 yards of the green. Right. Yeah. You guys tell me, would that seem okay? Yeah. When we yes. flip that switch, I'm taking a lawn chair and a beer. <laughs> no. And I'm going to enjoy the show. <laughs> Get the popcorn ready. Now, <laughs> I have a question regarding that. Will the cart cut off? Is that what happens? Yeah. Yeah, the reverse. Reverse, reverse. okay. <laughs> and, That's me. Uh, like, you can't like that. even tell me that you didn't because the GPS traces every foot. So on the map, it will show boom, <laughs> and it or it will show keep going, you know. So now, who's going to have screens? I, I was thinking myself, Mark, you know, because there's two logins. There's a login with all the settings, and then there's a, another login where you get smaller settings. So yeah, I'm going to assume give, you know, some staff, you know, leisure to the smaller setting login. So they can see pace of play, they can see multiple carts on a hole, and they, things of that nature. Designate which carts are handicapped or not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but perfect. The, but the ultimate like admin login, I only see myself and Mark probably using it. Okay. No, but they, the carts that are going to be handicapped, they have like a sticker on it, so yeah. the, the starter knows yeah. that. Yeah, they'll have the sticker on the top. Yeah, that's um, well, I think in that email blast where you talk about that, you should include the, the information yeah. about the handicaps on everything. Monday's usually the day the marketing team sent something out from the golf course, so we'll send something out on Monday prior to turning it on. Yeah. The, the only other comment I have is that I noticed that, you know those garbage can well, holders, mm -hmm. all right? A lot of them, I don't know if people are banging into them with their club and getting, you know, upset and smash them, but a lot of them are broken. Are broken. They're broken. The garbage panels? Or? Yeah, no, not the panels, the but the actual hold the panels. Wouldn't, there wouldn't be. Well, yeah. yeah. 
they're trying to get rid of those. I mean, you can't cross on 17. You can't, I can't cross on that bridge without getting poison ivy. And the same thing on 14. I mean, it's just, and I mean, no, no offense, Sal. This is just, I mean, this is months of stuff. I mean, it takes months to get to that. So it's like, you know what? Stop. You know, and same thing with the towel. Why would, why would you even put that out there? It's 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 embarrassing. It's embarrassing to me when I bring people over here to see this thing. It's like you have to be kidding me. And then I look over, and somebody sent me pictures of kids. What six, seven kids on one bunker? Three of them are on a phone. One kid's working. So it's you know what? That says everything you have to say. I don't care what you. You know, it's the same people doing the same things over and over again. Nobody wants to listen to anybody. Well, guess what? We're losing people. Whether you like it or not, we are. And I, I said I had a conversation with Peter and another gentleman. He goes, "Listen, I'm, we're going to other courses because they're in better shape and they're cheaper." And you know what? It's evident. It just is. And you could just, you know, say what you want and sugarcoat it however you want. Just look at a lot of the holes that you have, and it's it's embarrassing. It's just it's embarrassing. Why would you even do that? If you work for me, I would have fired them. And you're fired. I don't need you here. You know what? Take put your phones, put them in the locker. You don't need the phones with you. Grow up. This is a job. I'm paying you. Do your job. That's all there is to it. I'm sorry. You know what? It's time for if you're a manager over there in the super, you got to supervise. Otherwise, you could otherwise What's step the down. Guy that matched up with me the other day. I was playing. Uh, he football. We just matched into our foursome, and he's a regular retiree in Berlin. Lives in Berlin, and he said I lost a lot of my players because. He, he thought we were all pricey, and the condition is not as good as standing. That's what he mentioned. I said, okay, you know, I'll bring it up. But the flailer was there doing the 18th uh, hole and, and the uh, and the 15th. Listen, you, you couldn't take care of the the all the, the weeds that are on 14. I mean, 13, 14, and and 17. It's like an 18. It's like, come on, really. It's time to grow up. I hate to say it like that, but it's time to grow up. And if you can't, then maybe it's time to look at an, another way of getting this stuff done. I'm sorry. It's just is we keep we keep dancing around the same thing over and over again. It has nothing to do with the amount of help. You have a budget. Let's just call it what it is. You have thirty thousand dollars left over in part time help. Your your maintenance budget is more than I'd say a lot of the other courses that are around us. It's just the way it is. So I'll, no offense, you've been here for six months, right? So this is your fiscal your your time is it's your time, right? I mean, I hate to say it, it's not a full season of looking at this stuff. You have six months to look at it. Here it goes. We brought you in to, to, to look at what, what's going to be changed. You have experience with other courses, a lot of other courses. You have a private course and public course experience. You know what's going on. It's time to, you know what? It's it's time to step up and say this is the way it's going to be. That's all there is to it. Otherwise, we're not going to, we are not going to survive at the end of the day. We're not. Because we have not separated ourselves from everybody else, we are not in that. We are not worth what we're what we're charging. I, I, I hate to say it, we're not. Looking around the pictures I send you, that's just half of them. I could send you a ton of them more, but it's 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 what good is it going to do? Unless something's going to change, then you know why bother bringing half of this stuff up? Yeah, how, that's, how, do, we get, how do we get back to where we were back in the the nineties, where we were like the top ten uh, public golf? You were a top ten course. And the golf is digestless. Always. Every Always. Always. We made it, we made it to three. Yeah. 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 Back yeah. in the 90s? Back in the 90s, yeah. 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 So how, how do we get yeah, back? I mean, here? Jonathan was probably. Well, I, I mean. Five years in at that time, right? Yeah. And now even Al. Al was. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm I'm prior to, with, we are. Yeah, I'm He was on there when Al was there, too. You know, I mean, listen, it, it, it's pride. It's oh, you're done. It's it's 
it's pride in what you said, what you do. Why would you hang out a towel on all on the par threes that have holes in them? I mean, you got to be kidding me. You know what? Why don't we make that part of the, that's, uh, the stuff's going to be posted? Post some of those pictures. Post them. You want to you want to get people you know embarrassed about something? Post that picture. I'd be embarrassed if that was it. I hate to say it, but you know what? That tells you everything you have to know about the, the staff you have. I'll stop, I'll stop talking about that. But course conditions, I disagree. I think they're, you know what? It's sloppy. It's, it's, it's not, a, you're lucky if you're getting 80%. And you know what? Maybe it's, it's not, if it's not going to get better, then, then why are we even meeting? I, I at the end of the day. I agree that if we're going to charge the prices we're charging, that's fine. But give them their money. Well, I mean, hey, this is what... I, can, I, I can't I, hear you, Nancy. I don't, this, I don't know if this is a good segue or not into this, but we set expectations for revenue based on the expenses that we intend to incur. This is the second year now that we have left a lot of money on the table unspent as far as expenses goes. The court on paper, yeah, that's fine. It, on paper it looks like the course paid one hundred and seventy-two thousand dollars, right? So we're putting it back in. One ninety-seven. How much? One ninety-seven. In reality, one hundred and two thousand of that is money unspent that was ex that is for expenses. Right. We said a combination of both. Yeah, and well, and the, what also is not taken out of that number is you know town services, but that that's that's which is a joke because a plumber, whether it's a town of plumbers working for the town Monday through Friday, whether he's in the library, the golf course, or whatever, he's making the same. We're paying the same amount of money. So you're gonna, you're going to charge the golf course for a plumber? That he's getting the same amount of that's stupid. So that, that that's ridiculous money. I don't even look at that. But what I am looking at is that this is the second year in a row that we are not spending money that we should be spending. Actually, and it's more than that, Peter. That Just money, like four year four. The money that we're not spending is money that we've already put on the golfers' back because we anticipated to spend that money. We have to meet expenses with revenue so if we're not going to spend money then why are, then we are we are penalizing the golfer correct okay so if we're penalizing the golfer <laughs> if the, and if the golfer is paying for all of this then anything unspent in my opinion should at least be partially paid back to the golfer in way in, in, in some sort of form or the, the better to make the golf course better if, I don't understand why we're not spending the money. I, I, I just I just don't get it. But so I hear what you're saying. You're spot on. But to Jim's point, Jim is bringing up an issue of we have staff that are supposed to be doing things, yeah. and they're not. Two different issues. You're bringing up, hey, I got extra money here. Kind of the same thing. I got extra money to improve yes. the course. Why aren't we using it? Now, uh, I will say this, I will say this, that I, I, was in, I was in the same, I was in the same mindset of Jim a few weeks ago about, you know, five people working on a hole, okay? And although I think it could be, I think it could be done more efficiently, I do get why there is several on a whole as opposed to one or two because it does get done quicker but today they were working on a bunker on the ninth hole and i finished golfing and i sat there and i watched them and i, I will say this those kids were really busting and, and they were they, they did a great job on, on on those bunkers now and and jim i didn't it, believe me i see it all the time too but not one phone came out. Everybody was doing something. So, I mean, if they could do it there, they, you know, they, they could do it other places. But, I mean, I actually told them, I said, man, this bunker looks really, really good, guys. You know? Um, 
So yeah, there's there's things that we can definitely do more efficiently, without question. But we're leaving a lot. We're leaving this money on the table, and, and now it's just the, you know what? I mean, I heard that we need new mowers. We yeah. need new mowers. Two of them, I heard. Well, it's isn't it a lot easier during the year since we have this money to go and ask for a transfer into the CNR fund? so that we can accommodate this. Now, now we have to... Just get in line. Now we have to go to town council. Well, well they would have had to go through town council anyway, but now it's front and center because now we're asking for this money from a reserve. That's a big difference, right? Because now that money that hasn't been spent goes back to the town in their reserve. Whereas we already had it during the season, during the fiscal year, all we had, all we really should do is ask for to transfer that money that we already have allocated to us. Which we can do. Absolutely, we can do that. And, and, and this is the second year in a row that we haven't done that. Mm -hmm. and, and you know, to your point, maybe we needed to get some more staff in to do more work. In right. I don't know. I mean, spend some of the money. You know, if we need to get more. Tempson or something like that? Some I, I cannot speak for accounting practices in municipalities or state level. I have no experience. But common sense just tells me if we have this money already allocated and, and, and we need stuff and we're not spending money, then, then we're, 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 we're just idiots. We don't get a goal spot. 10% of, of, of our budget wasn't spent. Jim wants to say something. Go ahead, Jim. Peter, you're, you're split. Listen, it's one of two things, right? Either the town knowingly inflated the expenses knowingly so that we cover the cost and make a profit, which I kindly highly doubt, or it's 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 a total mismanagement fiscally, and it's been that one of the two or both for two years now, or actually four years now. We've shown a profit. You are correct. You need mowers. The car paths need to be fixed, right? The barn needs to be fixed. The putting area needs to be fixed. The range area, the irrigation. Are we band-aiding what we're doing, right? Yet we want a dump truck, right? You want a dump truck. How often do you need a dump truck? You could rent it for the amount of time that you really need it. And it's, it's just project planning. Sal, I mean, I mean, there's a lot thrown out here tonight. There is, and it's a lot on your table. And we're not bombarding you, we're not. And I think it's just more of a frustration a frustration from all of us because we've seen this time and time again and nothing's changed it's nothing has changed so where do we go and how do we fix this there's a and what peter's saying is absolutely true absolutely correct to make a transfer during that fiscal year that you're in with the funds that you have is so much simpler than when it's all said after the fiscal year is closed because once that's closed it goes back into the general fund and anything left over gets allocated out as the town council sees fit because everybody's going to come and say, listen, I spent more than I should have. Well, we haven't done that for the last four years or plus. And guess what? You could see the needs of the course. You could see, and we all see the needs of the course. So how do we fix this? How do we go about fixing this thing going forward? And you know what? This is your watch now, Sal. This is your watch. This fiscal year is you. How do, you know what? People are more than happy to help you out. They really are. You just got to ask. You got to raise the hand and, and just call them up and ask. And that's, you know, that's why we're here. All of us are here. We're willing to give you the time that you need. We are. You know, I'm done. Go ahead, Joe. Just a quick point. The fiscal year, we're talking about the town of Berlin fiscal, not the season of the golf. No, fiscal year. That's a, no, fiscal year. Through June 30th. So as of, as of three weeks ago, whatever was there, any surplus, it's gone. It's going it's gone now. The town. That's right. That's why I said the fiscal year now, is yeah, over. Last, now, last meeting is done. If we need anything now. We have to go to the town. We have to ask. We have to ask for our own money. <laughs> but, but my point is, is that the rates were set with the expectation yep. that this money would be spent on a variety of projects. On whatever. On so whatever. Whatever. The golfer, the golfer funds this golf course. The town doesn't fund it. The golfer does. Mm -hmm. Okay, through 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 fees and through the CIP and everything else. So if if, if we're charging if we're charging the golfer a dollar extra every time he comes to play 18 holes and we didn't have to go up on that fee, we still you know what I mean? So if we're gonna if we're gonna raise the rates to meet expenses, 
let's let's spend the money and, and, and do what we can to, so that so that we're we're rewarding the golfer for that raise for, for the money that we, we raised. Hey, uh, Jim, you can't see, but Andy's in the, at the door here. He must have some information for us. I don't think he cares about this. Yeah, question. go ahead. Actually, I don't have a lot of information. I'm just F, Do we know of any other nighttime based events in October? That we mark. Mark, Mark, are there any other night golfs in October? Yes, there are three total. There's um, September 29th, September 30th, and October 14th. Is October 14th a Friday? Saturday. Oh, it's a Saturday. You want to do it on Saturday, yeah. Yeah, I know, yeah, it was. yeah for the kids. So basically, the rest of October is wide open Friday and Saturday if myself or John want to move. October 7th? October, other than October 7th? Yeah, anyone but uh, the 14th is John has that. But every other Saturday in October is open for nighttime activity. All right. I, I, John's already left for the day, so I left a message with um, um, So I'll probably talk to him tomorrow, and we'll go from there, and then I'll let you guys know what we come with. So the 14th is the only one? 14th? This is the only one in October for uh, Saturdays. All right. Well, then I'll let you guys have your meeting and uh, All right, thanks again. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Thanks, Mark. Yep. So, I mean, that, that, you know, while we're on that, that point, I just I just don't understand why, why we're not spending the money that we should be spending. We had this discussion last year. Right. Can we, we have this discussion at the last the several meetings? This right. is not new. Peter? What's that? Can we spend the money? I mean, if we want, can we? During the year? Yeah. Of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. We we're, we're budgeting. I mean, so if we, see, if we see that, let's say electricity, for instance, okay? Let's say we put in all these, these LED bulbs now and we budget in. Six thousand or whatever for electricity, and we want, and we see that you know what we don't want to spend. That. So you know, maybe then we need and we need this for for our irrigation. Well, we can take, we can transfer without. I, I don't think there would be too much of a headache because it's money that is budgeted anyway. We could add, we could go to the council and say we need to transfer two thousand from this category over to this so that we can. Fix this. And there shouldn't be a problem with the council approving it? I've yet to see a transfer decline in all well, the good. times I watch a council meeting. Yeah. Oh, from, within, from within, from yeah. within, you know. Oh, okay. Within that fiscal year. It's not like they're, they're not asking right. for more money. Right. It's not new money. You know, and what, what boggles me too is we went, we went, we went through hoops for this clock, okay, to ask for money, and we got. You've got a hundred two thousand dollars extra here, and we could have used four or five of that for the clock. It's 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 just it's it, it's it's comical to me. That's a good point because we've been it's that comical. No, it's em it's embarrassing, Peter. It's embarrassing. And and, and you know it, I, this doesn't necessarily fall on on, on this this gentleman's watch here. So no, well, you've got to give a chance to absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. He's taking it all in. Absolutely. No. He's I respect the fact that, that he, he, he's, 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 he's sitting back and he's, he's checking it off. But this happened <laughs> last year, no. and he wasn't here last right. year. Right. Okay. So. Listen. The, the, enough said. I mean, we all we all we're all frustrated. Right. Okay, so we all understand it, is, right? Uh, on, a, on a positive note, I think the pods look great. <laughs> Whatever you do, it's in a positive. Yeah. Have, so absolutely, they do. Much better. What is your take on all of this and spending the money that we have to do with it? Is that reasonable? I think it comes down to um, getting a, another fund so where we can keep our surplus and our profits. I know Kevin and Arosh, they want to start talking about um, having a special fund, you know, for the golf course where you know, we keep our they're not calling it. That's a they're not calling it. That's a special revenue fund, but it's the same thing. Yeah. Be careful. Yeah. No. 
I know. Careful what you wish. Because we're in Yeah, to... don't, 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 don't be suckered into that one. That's something that they're talking about doing immediately. I would say it would come into effect by the end of this fiscal year. By the end of the, what we just finished? Oh, the upcoming year. So we, can we start with a slush fund retroactive of the past two years? <laughs> that would be nice. So if, well, say, if we're going, they're going to go forward. Can, can, have that discussion and make that request. That's money that the golf course. I mean, that's money that the golfers put in. Yeah. Okay. That's that's the that's the real important issue that I have is that the golfer has paid for all of this. Not one person outside of that golf course puts a dime into there except the golfer. The, the, Hey Jim, when the, the golfer has subsidized the the golfer has subsidized other people's budgets. Absolutely, right? They've well, subsidized I mean, other people's budgets. Yeah. So, how how do we deal with this going forward? I mean, you need mowers, right? I mean, you, you, there's a laundry list of stuff that you guys need. You know, you need a car path. You need a barn. If we have to look at long term at a barn, the putting green areas. I mean, the irrigation. Are we band-aiding the irrigation again? You know, how how do we start? <laughs> going with this you know in, in in a sensible fashion this is basic project management that's all this really is and I will also but how do we start i'll guarantee you jim that we can get grant money if we were to if we were to come up with a plan to build a, a, a barn that would house electric cars mm -hmm. yep. there's money out oh, there yeah. i'll guarantee well, you we could get a barn probably paid for through grant okay money. so so i spoke to kevin delaney and I spoke to Jerry Paradis, and I also spoke to Sal. I, I, I talked to Sal about this too. That um, they want to set up a meeting and and have basically Sal, Mark, um, Jerry, Kevin, Arosha, and probably myself, and then just whiteboard everything that we're looking for long term, everything, and and just come up with a, a plan that we've been. I've been talking about this forever. One, three, five, ten is a living document, and just go forward with this thing. But we have to have it on paper. P Peter, you mentioned this earlier the mowers. We never heard of we needed new mowers. Now all of a sudden we need two. And what's the lag time, the lead time on getting a mower? Is I, I, okay. So th think about this. You didn't know last year that you needed a new mower? You didn't know that? How, I mean, how foolish is this? And this, Saul, this is not on you. This is, this is, this is on, on, our maintenance people. You didn't know that you needed a mower. Come on, you deal with this stuff every day. This is just this is just it's incompetence. I, there's no other word for it. It's just it's 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 incompetence, or you just you don't care. What is it? You know, you I, forgot I, to tell me. I, I, I don't want to go down that road. I mean, we we. Have, I know, you know. Listen, know it's out in the we, open. Listen, we have we we're, we're we're identifying issues. Saul's here now, so yep. let's let's. Do All right, I, so so how do we deal? How do we deal with this right now? How do we deal with this right now? Do we go to the town and say we need a hundred thousand dollars back? Have, have that meeting number one, and have saw and have Arosha present, and and, and uh, you know what, Arosha Arosha is a, a proponent of the golf course, mm -hmm. and I, I you know and he he could he could he could give us some some insight or give you guys in that meeting some insight as to how we could how we could take a, some of that money. And, and bring it back in without going through hoops because now it's got to go through finance. Okay. That's, that's what, that's what Jerry said. I talked to Jerry. He said the same thing. It's crazy now. So going forward, I mean, that, that's what we, that meeting has to happen. So please set that up within the next, you know, two weeks that, you know, that we can get all sit down and, and it'll take like two hours at the most and, and just kind of whiteboard this and just figure out where we go and how we get there. That's it. You need mowers. I mean, if you need them that bad, you know, the, the, then the bunkers on top of that. I mean, it's just, there's a laundry list of things, right? So they just need to whiteboard it. That's what they're looking at in case they need to bond something. Joe's got a name. Joe, up. yeah. I would just put this on the table. If we're going to have that meeting, then I think part of that discussion, at least the preliminary part of that discussion, should be X amount of dollars were given back over the past two years. How do we use that as a seed? to set up our golf course reserve fund. They may come back and say, not going to happen. But at least start that dialogue and see what they say. Unless you ask, you don't know what the answer is going to be. Okay. Good. I mean, golf, golf is cyclical, right? Yeah. And, and next year, 
next year, two years, five years, nobody's going to play golf, and the golf, and, and golf courses are going to lose money. What do we do? Because I, I, I don't know, that scares me. That, 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 that really just scares me. Well, so we've talked about if a reserve fund is set up, right, be careful what you wish for. So over the past 50 years, often it's timber oh. with money. Uh, uh, Where, Joe, so, that right. was, let, let's talk, let's talk pre-ordinance, mm -hmm. okay? Pre-ordinance versus today. In the past, if Timberland lost $100,000, they lost $100,000. Okay, the golfer wasn't the golfer wasn't crucified because the course lost $100,000. Okay, now the golfer is crucified because we have to meet expenses, and expenses are not getting cheaper. No, inflation. It's just so the rates, we have no choice, no choice whatsoever but to raise rates every year because expenses are going to go up every year. So if, the, if, if we have to raise rates, shouldn't we give them what they pay for? Absolutely. And then if we give them what, and we can give them what they pay for if we spend the money. Uh, no, just no argument. So we, we're, we're in a totally different situation than the past because of the stupid ordinance. That slipped through the cracks. Well, well, Peter, the other way around this thing down the road is <laughs> maybe um, we underestimated the rounds, right? You play with the number. Listen, it, it, we've all done budgets. You start playing with the numbers. And so be it, you know. We have to hold the line next year. We can't raise our rates again. We just can't do it. So we're gonna have to figure out how we're gonna hold the line on that. That that's just my two cents. I'm still waiting for that ordinance. Well, <laughs> so I, guys, I mean, we we beat. Listen, like, well, we, we, we beat this one to death, right? We have. <laughs> yeah. Um, long, long term planning with the town of Burling. I mentioned that earlier. You know, let's, you know, let, let's just kind of and uh, listen. I, I think it was said best before. Solid. You know what? It, it's what happened before happened before. Now, you know, that's, and it, it had nothing to do with you. Um, but going forward, here's, you know, here are the things that are on the table. You know, there, there's no other, there's no other way of looking at it. It's just what's on, this, this is it in front of us. And how do we deal with it? And how do we prevent this going down the road? Fair enough. I think I'm losing you guys. No, no, no. I got a big, I got a big, hello, I got a big connection. So the June P and L, do we need, we don't need to, we've already looked at that, right? Are we still the June P and L, we're done with that. Go ahead. Are, are, are we still talking about? Go ahead. Yeah, I mean, just go ahead. The, the only comment that I want to make, and this is not now, it's been an ongoing issue for years at Temple. We started a project, we never completed it until one, two years later, if we're lucky. All right, so that's that's the only thing I want to make a comment is that, you know, we start a project, let's put a timeline to it, and let's hold it to that timeline. I will say that the gentleman that was just here, Andy, yep. um, they've been utilizing Earth Contractors more uh, for projects like the mounding, mm -hmm. uh, the slab for the driving range, and they're good, and they get you know. So I'm, I'm happy. I was happy to see um, that, that that our guys can concentrate on what they need to concentrate, and on this on this other stuff that they're they're subbing it out, and that's coming from the CIP. I'm assuming. So, you know, kudos. I like that a lot because you know what? It's going to take them a week where it would have taken our guys four months because they got other stuff going on. But I have to give credit to. Jerry, I remember when he was doing, when he took over as the interim, and he did the improvements on hole number 12, and he said, I will finish it, so it's, I will work on it till it's completed, and it did. On 12? That, on 12, he put the stairs in, and oh, yeah, 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 yeah. he did, and he saw it to the end, and he said he wasn't going to do anything else till he finished that. So, I, yeah, I have to give credit, credit to Jerry for um, finishing that project. 
Hey, uh, they've, uh, they've dealt with a lot of rain this year, and of course, it's still playable. Um, the greens are getting better. <laughs> they are getting better. There's no denying that. So, uh, yeah, credit where credit is due as well. It's not all, it's not all doom and gloom. You know, yeah. you have a, a lot of cost conditions and so on. But it seems like we're, we're having areas that were becoming like a, a, a pile of dirt, a pile of trees. I mean, look at 17. We got a new place down there, and now a 17 going down the car path that's now a, a, a dump area. Oh, that's uh, yeah, it's been there for a while. It's been yeah, there for we, a long time. We also have it uh, behind six. That's where it used to be all the stuff going down by six. I know it's going up number two. Did the tree come down? The pine tree come down? Or does it laying on? Uh, yes. It's on the side there. It looked like the pine tree well, came down. Is that just going to stay here, or you know, or is that we're going to move it? Little things like that. I'm sure. I'm sure they've seen the tree. I think it's little things like that that are kind of getting overworked. Mm -hmm. yeah. yep. so. There's a tree on the left as you're going down five. It's as dead as can be. Is there any reason why they want to keep that? Is it like. On uh, five or 15? Or maybe it's 15. I like that tree. But it's <laughs> like, <laughs> character. It's dead. It's totally dead on the I know. Left and that's side. what makes it look so and cool. I think, what are they keeping that for? It's not, it's not even in play. Oh, I really <laughs> love that thing. Huh? I take a picture of it a lot. Yeah. I'll take a look at it. Yeah. No. Hey, it's a lot. You good? <laughs> Jimmy's good. <laughs> so our son. It isn't a Okay. Our co comments from patrons, we, we covered that. You know, Seb, you mentioned that also, and, and I did too. Uh, throughout the, the, the June PL, it doesn't really matter. We already know we, we have a, a 200,000, 190 some odd thousand dollar profit, right? Going forward. And and so now, you know. Jim, Jim can I just yep. clarify? Yeah, the PL shows a $197,000 profit. And, and correct me if I'm wrong, we are under budget. By the 122,000. 122, not 100. Correct. So technically, that's over $300,000. Wow. No. No, 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 no. No, no, no. That 122. That's is that's the expense. Those are the expenses that you're looking at, Gail. So you didn't spend 122,000 of your of your budget. Right. You're underspent on your budget. The rest of the rest is just an increase in revenue. Those are expenses. That that's your that's your expenses, right? Yeah. And so oh, so compared expenses. compared to compared to budget, um, I didn't spend one hundred and twenty-two thousand of it. Right. Revenues are up by about ninety. You know, if that's the case, uh, initial revenues of, of seventy some odd thousand dollars. That's that's what that's saying. Yeah. What's interesting? What's interesting too, Jim, is that our our cart uh, revenue. Is up twenty one thousand dollars compared to last year. Yeah. That's a lot of money that we took in. The no, we looked at. We, we, listen, we've all we've all looked at these numbers, and it's just mm -hmm. you know, and that's I, I kind of got into this earlier on that, you know, your part time staff budget was um, part time and summertime help. You you let go thirty four thousand dollars, actually twenty five thousand dollars, twenty twenty four and change. But yeah, but is that in the fiscal year? Art guys and stuff like that. That's that's yeah. listen. That's that's the part-time budget. Whatever whatever's included in that part-time budget. So that's you could have had a, a heck of a lot more staff out there doing stuff mm -hmm. and paying them right. Yeah. Bring it, bringing them in early. Well, well, minute, whatever. Well, and Jim, Jim, they, they have limitations. Too. Well, then then like, then you know you what? If they, 120 days or something like that. So. Then switch them all. They, then hire more of them, right? You hire more of them, and you and you it, listen. Yeah. Other courses have yeah. the same issues. I know yeah. De Kevin Devoe has the same. Yeah, yeah. the they're same they're thing. Yeah. You just about you have more staff. That's all. It's the same kids that you have more kids to, to pull from. That's all. Did you have that issue last year as well? I mean, there, yeah. there is yeah. that limit. Yeah, I don't remember what it is, but yeah. there is a limit as to what they could do. Yeah. So for our blue collar employees that Jerry has, they do twenty nine and a half hours a week. 
and the summer help, which are the high school kids, they do 120 days. Those are our yeah. are you limited, huge limitations. Are you limited to how many summer help you can hire? That I don't know, like, because right now we have, uh, I, I don't know really the answer to that. I know for the blue collar, when we were talking about budgets in January, we agreed to having three. I think in years past, we had four. Yes. So, so is the way to get around that limitations would be really is to do more outsourcing? I mean, that's that's going to be a conversation in November, December. I know we all have had that conversation in the past. Different companies, such as Bright did. Um, I didn't dip my feet into that conversation this winter. Um, yeah. In addition to that, uh, what, I, what I really meant is to do a little, because of union limitations, you, you know, you don't have so many hours there, they can do it, and maybe outsourcing more of some of the activity that right now so that, you know, we don't have, uh, you know, we're not up banging heads against the union issues. I think for, uh, for, uh, for any, and I understand what the brand is. Uh, for any uh, personnel he hires, that does certain jobs, yeah. they go and they fall under a union. You, you can't have a non-union worker doing right. yeah. union work. Yeah. It's you know, like how my rangers and stars can't fill divots. Right? Well, wait, they're outsourcing the bunkers, right? The, the earth contractors. So that's not necessarily true. Well, You're outsourcing the bunkers, right? You're outsourcing the on, on one. That's the bunker. Oh, well, the, to redo that one bunker on one. Yeah, to redo that one. So what? Uh, it's we're not talking normal maintenance, but things need to be done, right? Speaking of, uh, you know, speaking of outsourcing, which is <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, I mean, I, I just got to get this off my chest because the RFP for for the outsourcing was written by us internally, right? We wrote the RFP. The RFP said that the greens will maintain a speed of 10 on the stem. Uh, Did yep. you all catch that in the RFP? Yeah. So we expect, we expect this. I just thought that was funny. That's all. Is that, it's funny, right? It is funny. Because I, I, I read that, I, I laughed. I said, well, that's interesting. So, but anyway. Okay, I digress. All right, let's, uh, let's go. Hey, Sal, I, I'm, I'm, I'll say this publicly in front of me. We are not coming at you. Don't don't feel that we are, I, and we're not. But this is not personal. It's not about it's not about you. It's about stuff that has been going on at the course that I, th I think people are just kind of uh, frustrated. You know, you're uh, you were brought in to make to make the changes. I do see. You know, you got to sit back and see what's going on, and you know what this is. It's your show now, so you know have at it, man. That that's it. We have your back. We're with you. We're we're here for you as a uh, you know a support system. We are. We're here for you. We're here. We are a support system for you. Whatever you know, we're we are here for you. And and I'll just leave it at that. You have our you have our confidence and and 100. percent And if you need something, that just you know just raise the hand and ask. We're we're there. You'll 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 have more than enough people helping you out. Yeah, I'm not enough. Thing, like to hire personally, you know, just the way I am, you know, when it's about people that works with me or under me, I take things pretty serious, you know, if not personal sometimes. And a lot of managers do that, you know, and I don't mean to always give it back to you all, you know, I'm not trying to, I'm just trying to make peace and trying to make things better for the future. But not an easy job you have. Yeah, I mean, but for, you know, for me. No. That. It's not. Listen, it, it, it's it's lonely at the top, dude. I and and people who've been there don't understand it. Yeah, it just I, is. I know uh, I'm new, but I think it's time to take the training wheels off yes. and um, and try some things. That's all. On a very positive note, the carts are fantastic. Mm -hmm. Every day, they look they look like they just came off the trailer. Every day. And, and I got to 
I'd say the starters had a little rough go at first, but they're, uh, they're, 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 they're getting good. Mm -hmm. They're doing a really good job. Chris and Don, top, top notch. Mike? Yeah, Matt. You got Chris. Donnie, yeah, Donnie. Matt, Chris. They're, they're good. They're good, they're, man. They're all doing really good. And Brendan, um, Che, the other day, I saw, I saw him go after somebody with multiple cards. He's my hero. <laughs> <laughs> well, it truly is a, a team effort. That includes Mark's staff. Oh, absolutely. Yes. They yes. help us out a lot in a daily basis that people may not see. But, you know, they help us out so much to allow us to do some of the things we're able to do. So there's still a lot of things to improve on, but appreciate everyone's uh, time. Well, I mean, look at, look, at all the, look at all the kids. I've never seen more oh kids in this goodness. place. It was loaded this morning. You know, and okay. that's, 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 that's attributed to, to, uh, to Mark, for sure. And, and uh, yeah, it's just wonderful to see. Okay, sorry, Jim. All right. Guys, open discussion. Anything else that we want to bring up that yeah. has been brought up? Yes, sir. Sebi. I'm having a roll tonight. Uh, <laughs> I don't believe it. <laughs> I'm number 18. I, 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 I was coming playing last night, and I played in the morning. A lot of balls mm -hmm. were coming on to the 18th, uh, getting very close to clean into the bunker. All right. And, oh. Yeah. All right. And, do we need to put a fence up there or something, a netting or something to prevent? Because I saw we cut some of the trees down, uh, which looks great on a number of on, on path going up. Um, somebody's going to get hurt with the boss coming in because there's, there's been a lot of duck hooks coming over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've, I've, yeah. And it slows down play when people are looking but to see if that's their the ball. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, it's not. And, you know, so it's confusing. I don't know. It's just this. Comment and any suggestions what we should do for that. I'm hesitant to have to put it on like the car guys to go every hour because like, they might get a, someone's live ball or something. Mm -hmm. or, you know, um, but if that's what we have to do, maybe that's what we'll start doing. Have, have it or something. No, isn't the concern the balls going into the area? Yeah, that's what I'm Oh, well, so, so it's using a net to net. prevent the balls from going. Yeah, I mean, I wonder what a, what a net that would look like on the, on the parking lot side of those arbor bite. Are they used arbor, arbor bite? Arbor bite. Yeah. You know, I wonder if, if a net would. would, that would be bad. Well, you've got to extend it down to the between the cart path and the driving range. Is that going to take a visual for you? Well, yes, I mean, when I think of a net, it's got to be super high because you're already yeah. turning off from an elevated area. Mm -hmm. like, no, 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 no,
Somebody's kids got better shots than I do. Well, <laughs> yeah. I, when Myers comes to hit balls, I get I, I, I pick up my balls. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't want, I don't want them to see my swing. Uh, anything else for open discussion? That's oh, it. Okay. I do. I do. All right. Sorry. Go ahead. Um, bottom of the flag sticks have those discs. Are we doing? Um, I mean, are we? When we when people are putting the flag sticks in, these things go like this, right? And then people are catching the sides of the holes, maybe. And they're rounding them over. The, ho the holes are getting rounded over, I think, quicker with these things in them than, than normal. I'm wondering if we should try taking them out for a month and seeing if the, the hole the hole improve. Because when they're taking it out, I mean, if you don't take it up perfectly straight and put it in perfectly straight, you're hitting the hole. Yeah, and what's the purpose of that? I think that was the pandemic. Uh, pandemic. pandemic. No, no, no. Those were put in after COVID. For the, pandemic, for the pandemic, we had those things that did. The, the, no, the pop up the, things. Pop up things. Those things were great. Yeah, what is, I don't know the problem. I, I think it was just to prevent people from uh, putting uh, uh, a trying, trying, trying to scoop a ball out with their putter yeah. or, you know, yeah. lifting up the flag stick uh, with a ball in it. You I know? mean, some people like them because they. I'm assuming a lot of the seniors like them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm sure I'd like it too. But I agree with Peter. Not everybody's very careful, and I've noticed it though. Yes, I agree. I may was saying it's like caving in. Yeah, the, uh, if you look at the holes yeah. there, uh, uh, unless you, if you're dying a, if you're dying a putt into the hole, you better hit the center. But if you're on the edge, it's going to whoop. Oh, really? It's just ramp, yeah. ramp right out. Oh, up or down? The, no, they're yeah. folding in. Yeah, they're folding in. They're getting damaged. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. They're, they're getting they're getting curled in more, and, and we don't change holes every single day, so that just compounds the issue. Are those discs only one size, or can you get them? No, no, they're all, yeah, one size. Yeah. So you're saying we should uh, let's try it for a month without it. I don't know, or maybe you do do uh, one side or whatever, yeah. or every other hole, and then you know, and then just see what happens. Evaluate it. And yeah. See if the if the holes if the holes have the same amount of wear, with or without, then put them back in because yeah. people like them. But if we find that the holes are are are, are better, you know, longer, right. then maybe you know, maybe we will Okay. You know, try one without them. See what happens. Yeah. I, yeah, that's not mine. That's that's just from a consensus that I heard. To make that suggestion. Okay. All right. Uh, account balances. T sign account. IP budget. There's nothing. There's thirty thousand in there unencumbered. Um, I don't know what's on, what's next on the uh, the project list. So, the complete for the thirty thousand dollars and and and. I don't have that in front. I'm sorry, you know, if you if you have something, I don't have that in front of me as far as you know the priorities of what's going to happen with the, you know, th this year. What 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 is on there this year that you're looking at outside of the normal irrigation problem that you have? But he's still got a lot of small projects. Like uh, I think Sebi said that he starts a he hasn't finished yet. Um, yep. I'm talking about what's allocated for the what's what's what are you looking at for the thirty thousand plus? You're gonna probably have another what thirty forty thousand. You know, right. between now and the end of the year. I mean, a lot of that's like, uh, I mean, it's it's the normal stuff. Like, we want to do bridges, bunkers, you know, car pads, but we're, yeah, but the, the bridges are bonding, right? So that's already out of the budget. That that's they know that's not in this fiscal year. So they already took the because the school budget got cut. So the the bridges got taken off of there, right? And that's 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 a bonding back in, issue. Back in. It got put back in. Well, I, that's not when I just talked to somebody. I didn't hear that coming up, but it, it does. It's not going to happen in this fiscal year. I thought this was more finance only. But, um, I, I, nonetheless, I think everyone in this room should be involved in the long-term planning. So maybe next meeting we'll have an agenda on projects that the golf course should have. 
I know Mark in his email earlier in the week or last week had some suggestions already. Mm -hmm. So maybe in our next uh, meeting, um, we'll have an agenda for it to where. Listen, if you if you want, we can hold a special meeting and kind of whiteboard it and spitball it, and then and that way you have something. At least you have something you know to work off of a framework to work off of. I mean, th that's that's another idea. There's just a thought, but yeah. we can kind of chew on that for a while. Because, uh, to me, it's important to know what, where you guys stand or where the group stands on. You know, we talk about getting the money back and using it and all that stuff, right? So we we all should be involved with how we should spend the money we have or getting the CIP. I don't know if it's a special meeting or just an agenda item or whatever you guys want. Well, we could also go back and revisit, you know, last October, we came up with that list that we presented to town council, mm -hmm. you know, starting with a phased in Sorry, project the for the, uh, the tent replacement mm -hmm. and phasing in, you know, a more permanent structure. Yeah, but but the tent, is not, tent is not our CIP. Tent is a separate oh, issue I altogether. Correct. I wasn't talking about CI. Oh, I'm sorry. But that's what we're on. I, I, when I picked up on your comment about more of a, a long range plan on what we might need and to develop, you know, those ideas. Those ideas. I mean, if it's if you're talking to CIP, Jim. I mean, I would say I'd love to redo like number, left side of number two. Put some thought into mm -hmm. that because I think a lot yes. of people. But, and that's yeah. It, um, Mm -hmm. You know, there's probably another hole we could touch upon, you know, because if you do two holes a year, you know, I think that's a good way to okay. kind of uh, put some money back on the course and, re you know, kind of improving our golf course all also. I know number two has been talked about a lot. And I think it's about time you, we all put some thought into that and get some clarity. What, what are your options in there, Sal? I, I mean, what, what are your thoughts on that? What are your options? You have a lot of trees. There's no there's no rain. There's no water in there. So you're, you're kind of limited, right? It's a total re redo. You can leave the fairways <laughs> greens and keep it playable. But right and left of the fairways, you got it's a total redo. You got to clear all those trees and roots and maybe, you know, put some irrigation there. But it's more than just putting uh, fertilizing down. Oh, you can't grow grass on roots, no. on roots, and there's no uh, air. No water, so you literally have to do a big project on that. I was talking to Andy about it, you know, last week. Andy Ubiak, and it, it just needs a, 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 a bigger renovation than you think. So, agreed. All right, the reports, director's report. I'm sure y'all had a chance to kind of go over it. So a lot of it is about our new geofence system, you know, on some of the capabilities that we can do with it. I think one of the better uh, things that, that's really going to help us with is pace of play because um, we can set the amount of time uh, the cart is on the course. <laughs> and it and tells us if you're five minutes late, five minutes early, you know, so it's a good way for us to kind of not only see where the gaps are, but see the actual pace of play uh, for the course. So I know I've been, we've been struggling a little when we have like tournaments in the weekend. So that should help us out right away to get a better pace for the weekend. Um, thank you to the men's club for their donations, you know, for the um, divot bottle holder for between number one and 10 tee box and their donations to all the par three uh, tee boxes where they donated some divot mix holders, some nice ones. They're in order, so I know they should, it was like a four week timeline on the order, so hopefully by this time in our next meeting it's here. Um, the refund for Paul Hyman and refund for Rich Sledding seat season passes has been processed. So the town, um, I guess the tax office, or the tax office, yeah. I gave them the information. They're going to send a check to their respective houses. And um, that's really 
about it, my and all of that. Always trying to figure things out. I, 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 seven, I have some suggestions that you want to practice to geofence so that you will get feedback like right away. <laughs> Tell you who to give them to. Well, I will say the senior men have already voiced a lot of her. <laughs> oh, no, there's a doctor. I, I'm trying to get ready. Um, you know, buckle up. That, that, that's a shock. Yep. Oh, don't, you know. Well, I'm going to put the lawn chair on the left of nine. <laughs> there, there'll be an on-deck circle, don't worry. I can't tell you how many cards go to the left of nine. I'm going to have a lawn chair. The left of 13. Behind 13. Number 10. Yeah. Even 18. Everywhere. Every grade, there's a culprit, right? Yeah. Yes. Oh, number oh, six. Oh, <laughs> Tournament, member, member tournament coming up this week. And I, I know it's another thing, but we don't do a very good job at putting white lines around areas where oh, it's the ground repair. under repair. The so rain. that if you're playing in a tournament or you're, you know, you're playing with somebody, you know, it should be a white line here to mm -hmm. ground under yeah. repair. So I think that would help They're yeah. in these tournaments. I know, like, for this particular one, Mark already gave. Jerry and I heads up on how he thinks the court should be marked. So I know, I know, I think Jerry said he's going to do ground under repairs, right, Mark? Yes. Sir. So they kind of tag teamed it for this tournament. You let me know after the tournament if you feel like they've done enough. And, um, and we'll go from there. Yeah. I know I'm reading their email, they're pretty thorough on like what they want marked. So. And we have a club championship. The coach has at the end of the month, two weeks from the United States. Yeah. But with all the ground under repairs on the court, <laughs> sometimes you just need a local rule yeah. within the yeah, you're right. right. Like, some, you know, I know we have that bunker local rule where you, if you're in a footprint yeah. or something, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So we'll see how it goes for another member and then. Will modify or not modify for the championships. Thank you. Okay. Mark. All right. Finally get to say something. <laughs> uh, sorry I couldn't be there. We have a big outing tomorrow and uh, getting everything printed up for that. Uh, 144 players. It's a new one, so hopefully it doesn't rain on them. Uh, but I'll just go through my report and please feel free to ask any questions if you have any. Um, I put together the revenue comparison uh, for last year and this year. And, and as you can see, we're, we're doing quite well. Um, our rounds are up quite a bit. I know we, we increased the rates, so that's a recipe for uh, good revenue. Um, so we are still getting a lot of play, which is good. Uh, there's a lot of organized play. You know, there's leagues on both sides. We added a couple. Uh, we're pretty much at capacity for leagues. Uh, our men's club, women's club, Lady Niners, senior men, those are strong organizations that uh, continue to grow each year, but we're getting a lot of playing members, which is good. So um, a lot of good things happening on the revenue side of things. Uh, as far as our junior program goes, I mean, all summer long, that's dedicated to the juniors. Uh, we've got programs for anything from ages 5 to 17. Uh, we have three different programs. We have PGA Junior League, uh, which we have about 80-plus kids between uh, the ages of 8 and 17. Um, we have our academy that runs uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays, where we teach the kids basically how to – play from the green backwards they have to shoot 36 at 30 yards if they do that they move on to 60 yards and we have five different levels uh so for their development that's been really good and we have about 30 for that program uh and on top of that utah course we started it last year i think everyone's familiar um 
we've gotten way more rounds this year on youth on course than we have last year. Uh, last year, I think we only did a few, but we've really publicized it this year and uh, it's been quite successful. Uh, we are still waiting on the first um, subsidy check, but the guy did tell me that they send them out monthly and we started inputting rounds uh, May and June. So he said it's in the mail. Um, but just to familiarize everybody with that program, it's $5 for nine holes uh, for the juniors that have that membership. And Youth on Course subsidizes the additional uh, fee, which is $8. So we don't discount or lose anything on that. Uh, we hosted the Bob Stein grandparent grandchild outing. Um, Bob Stein started this while he was still alive. Uh, he passed in 2011, my first year, um, and we've continued it ever since. I believe the Berlin Citizen is going to uh, put either a press release or something, some sort of article in the paper coming up. Um, it was a good day. We've, we've had sunshine every single time we've had this since he's passed. So that's been a pretty special thing. And uh, the senior men's club really runs this event and I just helped them. And they had 18 grandchildren participate along with their grandparents. Uh, State to play, I think for the most part is good. Uh, of late, I have seen some of the club events um, slow down quite a bit. Um, could be the formats, could be various things, could be just one group holding it up. Um, but I did speak with Saul, and, and I'm pretty confident that the GPS and the carts is really going to help us kind of stay ahead of the game in terms of pace of play. Uh, instead of waiting on a phone call from somebody on the course we can really see where carts are at and who's behind so uh i'm going to do everything with my staff to help out with pace of play and identify these issues before they become bigger issues and uh, i think working together as a team uh will be nice this is something that's long overdue i think will really help us uh other than that i mean again summertime is is junior golf season and we've got a lot of that going on it's something special we have in Berlin that I can tell you that the area golf courses don't have. Um, Lyman Orchards has a strong program, but uh, the other ones that are public in our area have next to nothing. So um, I think it's definitely something that is special for Berlin and Timberland. And it's a tradition that was here long before I've been here. And it's just been my pleasure to continue that on. Um, so just moving forward, uh, I'm going to continue working with Saul. Um, we've worked great together. Um, he's kind of given me the freedom to book small outings, big outings, whatever. And uh, I think we, we've communicated quite nicely. Um, and then coming up, we have our largest outing of the year, the, the Ryan Lee Memorial. Um, and that's about 240 players. So I think having the additional carts will certainly help for that event. Uh, past that, I'm just going to continue to help in any way I can and uh, some of the content for our social media, um, put together that as well and continue the great things. It sounds like we're making good money. I don't, I don't think that's our problem right now. So I'll just continue helping in that sense. Hey, Mark. Hey, Mark. Hey, Mark. Hey, Mark. Yeah, nomination. Yeah. So. yeah, nomination is right. Uh, he's been nominated yeah. Player Development Award for 2023. Congrats, Mark. Congratulations, Mark. Thanks, John. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, I, I applied, and uh, we'll see if we get any sort of recognition. Um, it's just nice to be recognized by my peers for, for something like that because uh, it's something I definitely uh, I started out at Timberland doing kind of everything, and it, it's my niche is for youth golf, and uh, having kids of my own has certainly helped that. Uh, but it's something I really enjoy, and, and having the support of the town, uh, Golf Commission, the patrons of Timberland, I mean, they all love seeing all the kids around. So I really appreciate that support. So thank you. Good. Congratulations on that, Mark. Seriously. And, that, and that's Mark, publicly said Mark was nominated so by, by the CTPGA for his work with juniors. So that should go uh, in the minutes. Oh, I'm sorry, Sal. Mark, sorry to... Um... I just want to, I'm sorry to hear that your sales are down from last year. If there's anything we, or, you know, our counter can do to help you with that. And if you want us to say, oh, you need golf ball, see them and all that stuff. Happy to do that for you. Sorry to hear that your sales are down. 
Uh, it's okay. I uh, I think I ordered too much to begin with, <laughs> so we'll eventually get rid of it. And I, I think I'm going to be a little smarter on the on the pre book next year. I mean, that's on me. Um, certainly, you know, the reps have walked in and said, "How is this going to work?" and all that. And it, and I mean, it it's two trips instead of just one, so it's not going to get any better. We know that already. Um, but you know what? I have a strong men's club that's that helps me. The women's club. And uh, plenty of people that support me, so I'm not I'm not too concerned about that. Thank hey, you, uh, though. <laughs> I, I I got a question for actually for Solomon Mark and um the the divot mix. How is that working out? Are are people filling divots on the course more more so than they had in the past? With the fact that you have a, a mix in there and that it's available on I like I know I have a bottle and and a Gail has a bottle. Um, are people, you know, and I encourage people to do this all the time, just so they're on there, they're kind of unaware of it. Um, do you guys notice people are, are flowing them more with their own divots and, and taking better care of the course? I noticed it on the part threes. Uh, no, I don't know. I'm talking about the fairways specifically. But on the, the golfers. Course, on the course, if the, I know that if there's, I don't have a bottle, but I know several people who did. Who have bottles like Glenn? Glenn's got a bottle now, um, and uh, we're. I'm, I'm looking to get a bottle for my car once. Once, I, Mark, weren't you going to order a couple? I have I have them in stock? You do. They're in the oh, shop. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, that's oh cool. so maybe yeah. let people know. I mean, it's yeah, because I I bought one. How many? You, how many? What did you order, Mark? How many? I ordered six of them just to start seeing. Oh, that's, they just that's, came in maybe okay. two weeks ago. <clears throat> All right. Well, and then maybe let people know that's a, Hey, that, you know, we're assigned. We have bottles. Uh, Cause I, I do it all the time. I fill up all the time. I think it's the best thing going. I really do. And I fill mine in a couple more. So Sal, are you hearing any feedback on any of that stuff? The, the feedback I see is when I drive around, the fairways look good. Also when, when Mark's help out Maddie, when Maddie comes on Tuesdays and Thursday and Fridays, you know, he's able to fill in more bottles, so that means people are using it, right? So he's refilling a lot of bottles in those days. But it, it all it always can be better, right? But I would say if it takes if we just average one per group doing it, that's a good start. I mean, I think there's other things that are bigger fishes to fry, like raking yeah, and raking traps, right? Yeah, fixing fixing ball marks. All right. But the fairways look pretty good. Like I'm not seeing a lot of dead spots or divots that aren't really filled in or, or whatnot. So but that's All right. I agree. I think they look good. Good. Um anything else? Can I have a motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion to adjourn. Peter, make a motion to adjourn. Second. Nancy, Joe, thank you. Guys, this is 738, and uh, we could, I think that's one of our, Sal, I'm sorry. See you later. Bye, thank you. Okay, yeah, bye. We'll see you, Joe. Bye. Mark, take care. Mark, thank you.